Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to do that right here so you don't miss out on any more videos. So today's video is going to be a first impression slash demo of the new Milani foundations. I haven't seen this all over YouTube, like literally, and I wanted to do a review a few weeks ago, but y'all, I could not find this foundation nowhere. Like it literally nowhere, okay? I couldn't find it. So I went to my nearest CVS and of course they didn't have, my hands are so ashy, ew. But of course they didn't have my shade. They only had, I think the darkest they went up to was tan. And I'm like, for real? I don't understand why stores do that. I like, I really do not understand that. But anyway, so I ordered it online and I got two because I did not know my shade and I did not want to like not get the right shade. So I'm not sure how these are going to like work together. We're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna find out on me right now. Excuse my ashy hands. I literally like just jumped out of the shower and <laughs> I didn't put lotion on yet. I'm going to prime my face with my Tarte Poreless Primer, my smile line. Like I get major smile crease. Um, creasing like right here my smell line area and it's annoying as heck I like literally hate it um, but it means I'm always happy okay face is primed and I'm not gonna color correct like I said I want to see what this foundation is gonna do on its own shades that I have is 13 chestnut which is this one and the lighter one is 11 amber and I'm gonna mix them together because like I said I don't know which one's gonna work for me so right now I'm gonna take the 13 chestnut and I heard you don't need as much foundation I'm just gonna do one and a half pumps of each and we're gonna go in with the finger so I'm gonna like basically this one looks a little red hmm. I have yellow undertones let me scoot you guys up so you can see me Now I'm going to take the amber and I'm just going to pop that in. Yeah, amber is really light. It looks like chestnut is too dark and too red and amber is too light. So I'm thinking both of these together is going to be like my perfect shade. Now I'm going to take my IT Cosmetics airbrush blurring foundation brush. I just bought this so I'm not sure how it works but I hope it feels so soft. I hope it works really well and I'm just going to damp it. I'm liking it so far it looks really pretty and both of the colors are meshing well so it is working because the amber is more yellow based and chestnut is more red so I feel like it's giving me a perfect combo it's a little red but I can work with it I don't know if you guys can see that but it looks really gorgeous yes okay so foundation is done and what do you guys think I think it looks the bomb like for me not having to like color correct or do any of that like I feel like I'm looking real like my skin is looking really good like I don't feel like I have a whole bunch of makeup on my skin it looks very like like radiant it has like a glow to it it doesn't look cakey next I'm just going to kind of highlight under my eyes I'm gonna be taking this concealer by MAC and just using my fingers and dabbing it on in. I'm gonna take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC50 and this is what I'm gonna be, I mean NC45 that I'm gonna highlight with this. Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan to kind of set my highlight area. Then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup and then set my highlight again. 
I like going in twice setting it to really make sure that highlight is set and that it also stands out. I have like the most struggle brows you probably have ever seen. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pray for a miracle increased growth for these brows because Lord. Now I'm gonna move on to eyeshadow, which I'm not gonna do a lot for anything fancy. Kind of define my crease with mittens, which is this dark plum color by ColourPop. See, I love this color. It's like dark, but not too dark. You can do like a bomb daytime smoky eye with this. And then I'm gonna go in with Game Face by ColourPop, which is this gorgeous copper color. And I'm gonna put that right on my lid using my fingers. I'm gonna set my face with this NYX Stay Matte Not Flat powder and just set my entire face. I'm gonna bronze, bronze my face with this Black Radiance uh, pressed powder, and this shade is Rich Mahogany. For blush, I'm gonna use this gorgeous blush right here. This is by NYX. It's, um, what is this? This is like their ombre blush. So it's like a highlight and then it fades into this gorgeous, nudish peach color. It's called New To Me. I love this. For highlight, I'm going to use this one by e.l.f. Their Golden Bronzer. And this is a bomb highlight for only like six bucks. I'm gonna line my lips with K by ColourPop. go in with K by ColourPop. And this is cute by itself, but I want a little gloss to it. So I'm going to add Nymphate, which is my favorite lip gloss by MAC. Like This is like my OG throwback 2008 when I used to have braces. I used to wear this. do something with this hair of mine and I'll come right back all right you guys this is the completed look I have on the foundation but it does not feel like I'm wearing the foundation which for me is everything because being that it is full coverage I thought that I would feel like I'm wearing like a ton of makeup but I don't feel that way and it looks so bomb like I'm so pleased with the way that this looks I feel like it looks super just radiant I wouldn't call this a matte foundation, but I wouldn't call it an oily foundation too. I think it works for all 
skin type. So right now it is 215 if you can see that and I'm gonna come back later on at the end of the day after I'm done doing everything just to show you guys how this foundation has held up throughout the day. I'll be back. Okay you guys I'm back. It is now 10 13 on the dot. It's the end of the night and my makeup is still on my face. What? I do, I'm a little oily like up here. My T-zone area, which is normal for me, I usually get oily there. But as far as like the makeup still being on my face, it's still there. I did not touch up, not even my lipstick. So I didn't touch up my makeup, I didn't touch up my lipstick, I didn't blot, I didn't, you know, powder, I didn't do anything. I really wanted to see what this foundation would do on its own without doing anything and it held up pretty well. I still have the creasing in my in my um, smile line area which I think is inevitable. I probably would have to use like something to keep it from creasing but it's normal for me so I wasn't expecting a miracle. Um, I am oily but it's not like extremely bad not like all over but it is especially up here um, but considering that I did not blot or correct or um, black correct or anything like that you know it's okay it's okay I think this is a great foundation especially it being so inexpensive I get the Milani 2-in-1 foundation an 8 out of 10 it is very like it's y'all gotta try it. it's the bomb give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you guys would like these type of videos if you like these makeup videos first impressions reviews demos let me know and I will get more of that out for you guys. Follow me on all my social media platforms. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. You can follow me there at Jessica Petway. That's all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.